are just some things in life that you don't know you're missing out on until you actually have it. <laughs> hey guys, today we're going to be making a very special version of Thai iced tea. Green Thai iced tea. In the last video, I showed you how to do Thai iced tea street food style. And in this video, it's very, very special because we're going to be doing Thai iced tea street food style with the green version. Again, we're going to be using the Chatrumu brand, which is the only company that makes this version of the green Thai iced tea, also known as number one brand. This is a very special brand of Thai iced tea, and it's quite uncommon when you go to street food vendors to actually see them making this. But on your next trip to Thailand, when you do go to a street food vendor and you want to get a Thai iced tea, you could always ask them if they have the green version. Here's what the original Chatru Mu brand looks like for the original Thai iced tea, and this is the green version. It comes in a slightly smaller bag size, and it tastes absolutely out of this world. I can't wait for you to try it. I love Thailand. Not only because the people are so kind and so hospitable, the food is phenomenal. I just can't get enough. But the one thing that I enjoy most every day is going out for a fresh, cold Thai iced tea. And the best part is, it's only about 25 cents. So here's what you'll need to make this very special green Thai iced tea. One heaping tablespoon of green Thai iced tea mix, two teaspoons of white sugar, optional, but I like mine really sweet, two teaspoons of condensed milk, and two teaspoons of evaporated milk. In order to brew the Thai iced tea mix, I definitely recommend getting one of these. You can either get a tea strainer, or a lot of people call it a tea sock. Some of them have handles, some of them are like this, and then I just use a rubber band to wrap around it. But either way, you want something that's really, really fine and double layered, because the Thai iced tea mix is super, super tiny pieces of Thai tea and amongst other things. And if you just use a normal tea strainer, it will just go straight through, and then you'll have a lot of bits in the bottom of your, your drink, which some people like, some people don't like, so let's just use this. So today we're doing one serving of the green Thai iced tea. However, if you were gonna do two, three, four, you could get a coffee French press. And then of course, just do this step using the coffee French press instead, and you'll get the exact same desired result. So first is the one heaping tablespoon of the green Thai iced tea mix. And I just like to put a nice little rubber band on it. it just keeps it all in one place, it makes it more easy to manage. Next, we need one cup of hot boiling water, or about 240 milliliters. Now we're going to take the tea sock, place it in the water. And we're literally just gonna leave it there for about five minutes. Another thing that you can do is to dunk it up and down, just because it kind of helps with the flavor and move the tea around, but it also looks really cool. So while this is steeping, I just wanna let you know how amazing it smells. Regular orange Thai iced tea smells really, really good, but this one is completely different. It's not just the color that's different. Whatever herbs and spices they use in it is completely different as well. Mmm. It smells like... <sighs> I don't know how to describe it. The only thing I can really say it smells like is the American cereal, Fruity Pebbles. But if you're not from America, you don't know what that smells like or tastes like. So it's just one of those things you just gotta go out and buy it and make it yourself. And that way you can get the full experience. This reminds me of when we were in Chiang Mai and we rented one of those mopeds and went riding around in the countryside and we stopped off at one of those street food corner markets and I got one of these green Thai iced teas for the very first time. Those were good days. The great thing about Thai iced tea mix is you can create a larger batch and keep it in the fridge and then that way throughout the week you can have Thai iced tea and you don't have to go through this whole process all over again. Wow, I am so excited for this drink. Okay, so our five minutes is up. Let's go ahead and strain this out and get to the next step. I'm just pushing it against the side to make sure that I get out all the remaining juices. And as with the regular Thai iced tea, this will stain. So be very careful, make sure not to get it on any of your clothes. For this next step, you could actually mix these in here, uh, but just for this video, I'm gonna put it into a separate cup so you can see how it looks. That 
has a beautiful emerald green color. It's something that you can only get with this drink. First, we're going to add the two teaspoons of white sugar. Now again, adding the white sugar is optional, but I like my drink really sweet, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it. And I'll just give that a quick stir to dissolve the sugar. Next, we're going to add two teaspoons of condensed milk. Mmm, I love condensed milk. And we'll give that a quick stir as well. And last but not least, we're going to add two teaspoons of evaporated milk. The reason why I have it in this glass jar is because whenever you open evaporated milk or condensed milk from a can, you wanna make sure to transfer it out. It's just not safe to leave it in the can for long extended periods of time in the fridge. Whereas if you put it into a glass container, it keeps it much longer and it's much safer to consume. And we'll give it one more stir. This looks beautiful, nice, rich, creamy. There's a little bit of a shininess to it as well on the surface. Oh, this is very exciting. And remember, this is a condensed version because we're gonna be putting it into a glass with ice. It will be best consumed once we pour it over the ice and that ice gets a chance to melt down a little bit. So for our grand finale, we're going to pour the ice in the cup almost all the way to the top and then we're going to pour our drink in. The best ice for Thai iced tea is crushed ice. Look at that. And then last but not least, just pour a little bit of evaporated milk on the top. This looks absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. I was excited about the original Thai iced tea, but I'm even more excited to try this one. I just can't wait. I've got my reusable glass straw. Give it a quick stir. Okay, let's give it a go. Mmm, wow, that's good. If you've never had Thai iced tea before, you're really missing out. I definitely recommend trying the original Thai iced tea. And if you have had the original Thai iced tea, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend you try the green Thai iced tea. Mmm, that flavor is absolutely one of a kind. This is so rich and creamy. This is perfect. It may look like a matcha drink, but it doesn't taste anything like a matcha drink. There are just some things in life that you don't know you're missing out on until you actually have it. But the best thing is, I can make this from home. I mean, that is like insane. And you can too, now that you have the recipe. Mm. Doesn't get any better than this, guys. All troubles of the world just melt away when you have an authentic cup of Thai iced tea in your hands. Mm. All right, guys, I'm gonna go drink this. It'll be gone in a matter of seconds. But before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know about your favorite Thai iced tea experience. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I plan to bring you a brand new drink video every week. See you soon.